Okay, everyone. So now we are discussing the applications development in .NET. That means which type of application we can develop in .NET. We know that there are various applications in the market. Just like if we go for the mobile, then we are having the mobile development. Then if we are go going for let's say any project which run on our Windows, that is called the Windows development. Or whenever we are going on the website. that is called the web development so these are the applications which can be developed here in the dotnet so if we talk about very first application which we can develop or the type of application that is called the console application we know that we have worked with the c and c++ there we have worked with the commands there was no gui means there was no graphic interface there was no option for dragging and dropping the buttons or dragging and dropping any other thing so everything was on pure coding no graphic so such type of application we called that it is the command line application and those command line applications are sometime called cui or the cli that is command line interface or character user interface where we are only having the commands to work no graphic so these comes under the console application so the dotnet you can purely work on the coding part if you want there will be no form no designing part so that dotnet provides you so simply whenever you are starting the project you simply select the console application so you can work with that so let's say if you talk about the diagram here the technology we are talking about is the dotnet we know that dotnet is a framework it is not a language and dotnet support multiple languages like c sharp vb dotnet asp dotnet so under that which type of application we can develop so first of all we are having is the console application we should understand that in every language let's say if we talk about the language that is c sharp vb j sharp everywhere you will find the console application so here you can see that the arrows are coming here so that means from the c sharp or talking about the vb everywhere you can go and develop the console application and the name of application will be simply the same like c sharp dot net and vb dot net so these are the languages in that language we can develop the console application or simply if i say every language support the console application means everywhere you can go select the console application and work with that so that is the possibility so this is the first development of the application now if we talk about the next type of application development in the dotnet then it is the windows application so windows form or the windows application we know that just like we are having the windows window 10 window 11 now here we are having the graphics we are having the buttons we are having the start menu we are having the normal menu we are having the task bar clock so everything is a gui so here in the dotnet also you can drag and drop the controls you can work with that and create the windows form application so simply if we can say that it is for the gui interface for the user so gui stands for graphical user interface means everything will be in the graphics so you don't have to go and do the pure coding half of the coding will be done by the dotnet let's say you are dragging and dropping a button so button code is there now inside the button what you want so you will be going inside the button and do the simple coding so half of the part is done by the dotnet and half you has to do as a programmer so this is the windows form so inside the technology we are having the second option which is the windows so windows application is again available with all the languages so if you talk about any of the language let's say if you say c sharp so in the c sharp also you can go with the windows application and if you talk about the vb same you can go with the windows application so here you can see that this arrow is going to the windows application and also it is going here so that means windows application is supported by c sharp dot net vb dot net j sharp dot net so any language which you are using 
that also support the windows application windows application means you are having the forms that run on your window now we are going towards the next application development done by the .NET and that is called the web application or called as the web form. Web form and the web application both meaning are same. Why the name form is given in the web? Because whenever we are going to see any of the website on the browser, you can see that multiple buttons are there. So that means the websites are also having the forms inside. That's why it can be called as the web application or the web form. Just like you take the example of Facebook or any other website. Whenever you open it on the browser, you are having let's say www.facebook.com. Then afterwards, some beautiful buttons are coming to you for login ID and password for the forget. So these are the forms and they are opening on the web that's why they are called the web form or the web application so dotnet also support this one we know that web form contain the web pages web pages means whenever we open the facebook the first page is for the login id and password if we put the proper user id and password we jump to our account that is another page over there we are having our friends information let's say if we click on maybe friends we are again having the friends proper page where we are having the let's say how many friends we are having in our account or maybe we can click on another page we are having the, our photos available so these are all pages and these pages are opening on the web that's why they are called the web pages so the web form or the web application we can develop a project which can work on the web that's why it is called the web pages or the web application now here if we see the diagram we can see that we are having the web so web stands for the web application now the popular language inside the dotnet is the asp active server pages so asp.net provides the web application means if you want to develop any of the website in dotnet you has to use the asp.net ASP.NET is not itself a language. It is providing the support to the language so that they can be converted to the web. Let's say you are knowing the VB. So if I am choosing a language and that language is VB. Now from this VB, you can go there into the ASP. So ASP in VB, that means it will be opening like the ASP platform. And whenever you are going to do the coding, you can use the VB here. Let's say you are knowing the C sharp. So you will be going to the ASP with C sharp. That means the website you are going to create, that will not be a separate language. It is like a platform of ASP. And in the ASP, you can take any of the language to make the coding. Let's say ASP with C sharp, ASP with the VB, ASP with the J sharp or any other language. So web application need a language for the coding. So if you are master in any of the coding, you can select. But yeah, application you will be selecting will be the ASP.NET. So ASP.NET is for the web designing. Now we are going towards the next application development and that is the reporting application. So talking about the reporting application, whenever we are going to give the report to the user, let's say we are having a database and from there we want that, we want to create a pie chart, we want to create a bar graph, we want to give some type of report to the user, let's say how many customers was there in 2020, so some report we are giving to let's say customer. Now these type of report which are in the form of graphs, charts, or maybe some kind of table. So that application is also available with the .NET. Here in the .NET, we are having the crystal reports. That is a name. With the help of that, we can generate multiple reports. And these reporting application gives the report to user. Means user can easily track any of the report with the help of the reporting application. So these are the major application development in the .NET. So if we start with the first one, then console application, 
whenever we are working with the normal commands or the command line interface where is there is no gui programming just like c and c++ so that is the console application then we are having the windows application whenever we are creating a project in our system and then we are having good forms gui interface that is called the windows application whenever we are creating a project that work on the website or we are creating a website that is called the web application or the web form then next we are having is the reporting application if you want that user should be seeing some bar graph pie chart some kind of report then that is called the reporting application so this is all the application development in dotnet